Hi friends, in this IBM BPM tutorial, we will learn how to develop an email adopter. So while in developing the process, in some places, if we want to send email to third party, so how to send an email and how to receive email using the email adopter service. So we will look, we will look into that let's go to our lab environment okay so this is our previous data integrity app and in this app if you see the when the loader is loading the healthcare provider data into the database what we want we want that email should be sent to the uh, respective healthcare provider so we will Im we will implement a email adopter service at this point okay so before that I will just create a service since we are sending an email to third party okay so here we will create an integration service we discussed last tutorial when we create the integration service and when we create the general system service wherever we want to integrate with any third party system you will be using the integration service and when, whenever uh, you want to do any integration within the BPM you will use the general system service okay so email integration service okay fine and there is a very useful to, uh, utility is there in IBM BPM and that is called as a nested service if you come over here okay, just drag and drop change the name email integration service okay fine and this nested service you can expose as a email adopter service okay so what you need to do you just need to write over here SMTP you will get the send email via SMTP you can expose the same nested service as a email adopter service you can expose this service as a uh, if you want to read a file from a directory so you can read you can put as a read text file if you want to uh, save something in database you want to develop a JDBC adopter so just put it over here SQL and you can see multiple services are here SQL execute statements SQL execute multiple statements like that so it means the nested service you can expose in different different form so you can just click click over here in the implementation and you can see what are the different different form you can expose this service okay so here we are more interested in developing a email adopter service so i just made it like this and that's it okay now when you go to the data mapping it will ask you the mandatory detail to send the email okay so whenever you want to send email to any uh, third party you need to know these uh, basic details okay okay so what are those p basic details when you want to send an email so one is the email server address okay the host name where your email server is there to address from address message text what you want to send the message and subjective these are the apart from that you can have the cc bcc these details also so if you see over here all these details you can write it down over here okay so we do not have any email server so what i did in internet you can get hmail server okay hmail server is a freeware so you can download from internet And you can configure in your machine the configuration steps are very very simple you can just write over here h mail server
aqui. Not this. Download. Okay, so you can download the first one. After download, you can just save and you can install the file from here. Okay, after installation, this file uh, HTML server I have already installed in my machine. After installation, it will come like this. You can open this HTML server administrator. So I have created the host name, it has taken as a local host. Okay, and administrator is the uh, username. You can create a username once it is in installed. Oh. Okay, so here you can see you need to create a domain. Okay, so I have created a domain over here called as a ibm.com. Okay, so in that domain, you need to create one account also. Okay, so here I have created two accounts student1 at the rate ibm.com and student2 at the rate ibm.com. You can create multiple accounts over here. That's it. You don't need to do anything else, just uh, download the HTML server install the HTML server and create a domain and the account okay fine now let's come over here and give, give these details SMTP host so far as the SMTP host will be localhost two address so let's have the two addresses um, same which I have configured over here student1 at the rate ibm.com okay from so let's have the form from address also the same you can change the second address also at the rate ibm.com subject mm, let me give over here hcp details are updated in database okay so this is the and here you can write the message text and message text you can give over here details provided by you are successfully updated in database okay fine here let me put it as a success okay and if you have any CC, BCC, whether you want to have the important, if you have the attachment, you can fill up this, uh, these fields also. If you don't want, you can just leave it empty. Okay. So that's it. You don't need to do any other thing. So if you want to test this particular service, so just click over here. You can also debug this whether all the details are correct, are correct or not. So step. Here you can see content type if a text over plain student1 at the rate ibm.com this is the message text this is smtp host subject to success and this is the to address and run so the success the service ran successfully okay fine now let's see whether i have received the email or not this email server i have already configured in my microsoft live email so you can Come over here and you can see whether you have received this email or not okay so give the password so this is just a client okay uh, since I have created this account so I just configure this account over here and you can see here uh, I think I have got this email in a junk email folder and you can see the success student1 at the rate ibm.com who sent that email details provided by you are successfully updated in database okay so this is the way you can create a nested service drag and drop a nested service and expose as a smtp adopter and then just give all the details in the data mapping section it's very very simple okay so let's come to our data integrity business process we wanted to send email over here so what we can do over here, 
just this email notification implementation and here select your service what service you have developed over here email integration service okay fine okay and this point you need to do the data mapping also if any details are needed okay so these details you are you yourself are providing inside the service okay inside the service you are hard coding these details suppose if the de these details you are providing in the process level then you would have to do a data mapping over here okay so suppose if these details are coming from some variables what you can do you can create the variables over here so let me put here some variable to from okay host name uh, subject and then uh, message text okay fine so these are the variables which we have created and what you can do these variables you can map from the process level variables so since these details are not coming from to me from the process level so what I can do I can just uh, put a server script and I can hard code all these values here if you are getting from input form it's well and good Okay. and here you can provide the value like I say dw dot local dot to equal to give over here student one at one at the rate ipn dot com similar way you can put some details for others also okay from file and then tw dot local dot host equal to you need to give us a local host okay then tw dot local dot from equal to you can give uh, from okay we have already done you can give us a message text and here you can give uh, details are successfully updated in DB and then tw dot local dot subject I suppose I am giving successful okay fine now what you need to do you have to map all these parameters over here okay so rather than giving the value over here you can give over here tw dot local dot uh, host name and similar way tw dot local dot to tw dot local dot from tw dot local dot subject and similar way tw dot local dot message text that's it now you have to test and the service should work fine so let's uh, test our business process
see so when the intake person has submitted the detail detail has come to the reviewer he will see and he finds everything is fine so he put today's date as a review date made the request is a valid okay request is valid so please proceed okay click on the okay button yes and then load okay so what loader will do loader will load these data to the database yes the intake review okay so he will load this to database okay now when the number of request load is suppose five this load successful and submit and now all things are completed okay so i should be able to see one email in the email box okay so let's go to the email and check it over here and you can see i can see one email in the success box details are successfully updated in db and the email subject is successful okay so thank you so in this tutorial we saw how to implement an email adopter in ibm bpm